Hello my dear friends in today's session we will discuss about volcano my dear friends we will discuss about the introduction of volcano what is meant by volcano its formation and also its types so let us start with this interesting session and learn about more about volcano yes my dear friends what is a volcano a volcano is a mountain that opens downward to a pool of molten rock below the surface of the earth so what is it it is a mountain that opens downward now it actually occurs below the surface it doesn't occurs below the surface of the earth it is a molten rock which comes out or which oozes out of the surface of the earth and it forms it forms a mountain what we call it as a volcano and i would like to present it with the help of a picture yes my friends here is a very simple picture in front of you which shows that how it occurs so this is a magma chamber below the surface of the earth this is a vent from which it oozes out this is the lava this is a crater zone which it destroys or which with which the lava spreads and the vol volcano is occurring and this is the ash and gas cloud now basically when pressure builds up eruptions occur in gases and rock they shoot up through the opening and spill over or fill the air with lava fragments and eruptions can cause lateral blasts lava flows hot ash flows mud slides avalanches falling ash and floods let me write it down for you it causes lateral blasts it also causes lava flows hot ash flows mud slides even landslides and avalanches etc so basically volcano eruptions have been known to knock down entire forests and erupting volcano can trigger tsunami flash flood earthquake mud flow and even rock falls so it is very very devastating now my dear friends let us see that how these volcanoes are formed yes my dear friends how volcano form and how they erupt now basically volcanoes are formed when magma from within the earth's upper mantle works its way to the surface that means at the surface it erupts to form lava flows and ash deposits and here they will form lava flows and ash deposits so with this over time as the volcano continues to erupt it gets bigger and bigger so what happens finally with extreme weather emergency disasters happen all the time and we need an earthquake kit also because of what we can come to know about the volcano so by taking special precautions will be much more likely to say stay safe right so this is a picture of a volcano from which the lava is erupting right so it is the question mark that why do volcanoes erupt now basically the earth's crust is made of made up of huge slabs called as plates what do we call plates now the earth crust is made up of huge slabs called plates which fit together just like a jigsaw puzzle and these plates sometimes move so the friction causes earthquakes and volcanic eruptions near the edges of the plates and this theory is called as the plate tectonics so it is the plate tectonics because of which the volcanoes erupt and my friends what are plate tectonics now here you can see the image of the eruption 
which is near the edge of the plate and it gets bigger and bigger so the theory of plate tectonics is an is an interesting story of continents drifting from place to place breaking apart colliding and grinding against each other now the plate plate tectonic theory is supported by a wide range of evidence that considers the earth's crust and the upper mantle to be composed of several large thin relatively rigid plates that move relative to one another so the plates are all moving in different directions and at different speeds and sometimes the plates crash together pull apart or swipe sorry side swipe each other and when this happens it commonly results in earthquakes so since volcanoes erupt different from each other depending on the kind of rising magma as well as other factors we can distinguish various eruption types and even styles too so my dear friends here you can see a more clear picture of the eruption of a volcano as we saw that this is the magma chamber the magma which is under pressure which is below the earth surface this is the silt these are older layers this is lava oozing out after forming a mountain this is a crater dike vent the branch is called as dike and the main stem is called as vent and rest of others are gases ashes and cinders cinder cones which also form while the occurrence of the volcano or the formation of volcano so my dear friends that was all about the eruption formation or the occurrence of volcanoes now let us see that what is the classification of volcanoes now my friends scientists have categorized volcanoes into three main categories that is active dormant and extinct now basically there are more than 1500 active volcanoes on the earth and we currently know of 80 or more which are under the oceans and even active volcanoes in the us are found mainly in hawaii alaska california oregon and washington so there are three main categories of these volcanoes and it is the active dormant extinct now looking into the difference between all of them basically an active volcano volcano is one that has recently erupted and there is possibility that it may erupt soon so this is the recently erupted one the second one is dormant so a dormant volcano is one which has not erupted in long time but there is a possibility that it can erupt in the future so this is the one which can erupt in the future which has not erupted in long time and the last one is extinct so an extinct volcano is one which has erupted thousands of years ago and there is no possibility of eruption because it has already been erupted thousands of years ago so these are the three main categories or the classification of volcanoes now my dear friends after the classification of volcanoes there are types of volcanic eruptions too now as i said before since volcanoes erupt different from each other depending on the kind of rising magma as well as other factors we can distinguish various eruption types or styles so the most known types of eruptions are represented by the eruptions which are observed on the volcanoes of hawaii so they are called to be as hawaiian eruption then there are other volcanoes too like stromboli volcano so it is called as strombolian eruption strombolian eruption which occurs in volcan 
or volcano. It is termed as Vulcanian eruption, which is occurred in pale. It is called as Pelian eruption, which occurs in Pline is called as Plinian eruption, which occurs in Iceland is called as Icelandic eruption. Right? So these are the type of eruptions. Even the Plinian one is also called as the vesuvius eruption. Right? So however, most of the volcanic eruptions take place unseen on the ocean floor and therefore they are called submarine eruptions. And other types of eruptions include hydrovolcanic eruptions. So these are some types of volcanic eruptions that occur. Now moving on to the types of volcanoes. Here we are discussing four main types of volcanoes. There are others too. There are other two, but we are discussing four of them. So first one is the ash cinder volcano, then composite volcano, shield volcano, and dome volcano. So I'll be explaining you with the help of a clear picture. Now here you can see a beautiful picture of ash cinder volcano, in which you can see here, this is the magma, this is the magma chamber, this one. So, this is the magma chamber. This is the magma, which has been erupted from magma chamber. This is the cinder. It forms the cinder. That is why it is called as cinder volcano. And some ash, fine ash is also erupting. So, it is called ash cinder volcano. And this is the vent. So, basically, this ash cinder Volcano is also called as cinder cones. They are circular or oval cones which are made up of small fragments of lava from a single vent that have been blown into the air, cooled and fallen around the vent. Talking about another one, it is the composite volcano where you can see the same thing, the vent, the magma, but the difference is the lava and the branch pipe. So, composite volcanoes are those that are steep-sided volcanoes which are composed of many layers of volcanic rocks usually made from high viscosity lava, ash and rock debris. So, Mount Rainier and Mount St. Helens are examples of this type of volcano. Now, other than the ash cinder volcano and composite volcano, there is a third one called as shield volcano. Now here is the same thing went in magma but the difference is the gentle slope of basaltic lava flow. Now here shield volcanoes are the volcanoes which are shaped like a bowl or shield in the middle with long gentle slopes. Here you can see this long gentle slopes which are made by basaltic lava flows and basalt lava flows from these volcanoes are called flood Basalts. What is called as flood basalts. Right? So the volcanoes that formed the basalt of the Columbia Plateau were the shield volcanoes. So this is one such example of shield volcanoes. Yes, the last one is the dome volcano. The difference is the steep convex slope from thick fast cooling lava rest the vent and the magma is the same so these are also called as the lava domes the dome volcanoes are also termed as lava domes because they are formed when erupting lava is too thick to flow and it makes a steep sided mound as the lava piles up near the volcanic vent and the eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980 was caused in part by a lava dome shifting to allow explosive gas and steam to escape from inside the mountain. And so it was named as a dome volcano by its shape. So this is what are the types of volcano. So my dear friends, that was all about the volcanoes. But do remember the difference between lava and magma 
don't confuse don't get confused between lava and magma always remember that magma is liquid rock inside a volcano and lava is a liquid rock that flows out of volcano so fresh lava glows red hot to white hot as it flows as you can see in this beautiful picture so my dear friends it takes a very long time to or lava to cool down as lava cools slowly because lava is a poor conductor of heat and lava flows slow down and thicken as they harden you can see very clearly in this picture i hope you like today's session of volcano learning about volcano so i hope you enjoy the coming sessions of other topics too till then keep enjoying and have a nice time